velocity. Once we have our velocity ratio, we can find mechanical advantage of a gear system and efficiency. The mechanical advantage is the ratio of load over effort. So how much load you're applying on the driver gear to uh, how much load you are pulling um, from the follower gear and how much load your effort you are applying on the driver gear. And the ratio will give you mechanical advantage. Um, so if you plot load over effort and the slope will be your mechanical advantage. If your mechanical advantage is less than one, then the slope line will be uh, load versus effort line will be like this one. If it's one, it will be exactly um, going through this center uh, middle of the um, plot and if your mechanical advantage is greater than one then it will be above the um, the, the uh, mechanical advantage of one line now the efficiency is um, the ratio of the mechanical advantage of over velocity ratio and you see the efficiency normally it will be 100 but in real life you'll see the efficiency changes it starts from a little lower then it goes a little higher then it becomes plateau the reason of this change because when you're applying less or small load the friction between gears plays a big role and the efficiency, the losses is more, the efficiency, efficiency, efficiency is less. When you have more and higher load, then the loss on the friction of the meshing gear and other um, parts is comparatively less and then the efficiency increases a little bit and then afterwards it just uh, plateau itself.